Hey guys, this is Mater Master 21 with another part of um, Frucht Road to Round 50 on World at War. And yeah, this is the third and the final part of this playthrough. There won't be any more after this, at least for now. And uh, we actually reached more than round 50 in this, which I'm pretty happy with. And I'm just gonna repeat what I said in my uh, part 2 for those of you who haven't seen it. Just a few words about the strategy. So, uh, in World at War there's only 24 zombies, so at the start of the round I uh, hit the trap and it pretty much fries almost every zombie, except uh, for those who come so late after the trap is off. So you gotta watch for those and in the meantime while the trap is on, uh, just keep boarding the window and uh, use a ray gun if there's too many at, at the window and uh, if you can control it pre pretty well I just use the flamethrower uh, don't forget to leave one or two zombies at the end of the round so you have a fully recharged trap for the next round well let's talk about what could go wrong in this strategy or what could be played differently if you get a power up from the last zombies like insta kill or nuke it can clear you the wall around um, if it drops from the last zombie and uh, you actually have time to get it and you could saw right there I just got a nuke um, at the end of the round but didn't kill the zombies quick enough with ray gun and what happened is that I didn't have the trap recharged at the start of the round so I was freaking out right here uh, like what to do <laughs> Luckily, on only a few zombies coming from the stairs, and they they didn't stuck me. And I was uh, able to go downstairs. Then I decided to open um, the door and uh, this obstacle and lead them to the other side uh, of the map, which I can use the the next trap. And uh, this is pretty much like the plan B if the plan A goes wrong. What you could do. Just don't forget uh, to jump out of the trap quick enough so you can uh, board the windows on the other side, uh, like at the start of each round. Luckily there was uh, one guy who was coming really late, so I didn't kill them all at once, which is good. Now just make the crawler um, and board the windows. And yeah, this is pretty much the wall strategy that I use. Uh, there will be... Um, more close calls coming I think in round 51 um, of this video there's a guy that comes through the trap before I turn it on so you're gonna see like what you need to do if that happens but uh, of course there is uh, also the element of luck involved in this strategy that uh, the zombies won't breach the window and uh, you gotta watch out for those uh, guys that comes really late and uh, that's kind of specific for World at War that uh, the zombies they come unexpectedly sometimes from nowhere so you gotta watch out for those Also here you can see a um, red line on the ground and uh, the, the red line syndicates uh, the way you want to place the bouncing baddies on the ground right there because if you place it uh, too close to one side or another uh, they actually blow up because the zombies will trigger them even though the zombies are on the other side uh, of the wall but if you place it the way I just showed you around that red line it'll actually save them and uh, you will be able to use them in close situation if you get uh, pushed uh, in the back but uh, note that uh, it it won't help you like 70 or 60 it's pretty good to have a couple of those of those petties back there all right guys I'll, I'll leave you with uh, the rest of this gameplay and uh, I'll see you in the next map maybe who knows
Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and peace out.